So today we'll be learning about how to take advantage of an application service vulnerability that allow us to run code on it that gives us remote control of the entire computer. Before we get started hacking kids, remember hacking is illegal. Remember to ask your mom for permission first before you start hacking. The first thing you need is a target computer. And again, in this case, we can have any IP address as long as we're able to connect over to it. At other times, it can also be that this is a website you're targeting and it leads you to the IP address in which we can run our scanning. And your BFF, Mr. Hacker Law, is going to be right here targeting the specific site, scanning it using, say, things like Nmap, be able to look up for application vulnerabilities or entry points that we can target, which will then allow us to execute certain code, which gives us full remote control of the entire computer. And before we get started, remember to smash the like button and turn the notification to this channel so that you get notified the moment I hack into you. <laughs> so right in front of us, we have Kotlin Linux running, and this is going to be your favorite article hacking operating system. In fact, it doesn't really matter. You can be using Windows XP, and you could still hack into the machine as well. So once you're in here, you have the website name. And of course, in this case, it could be hackaloy.com, example.com, whichever. And the next thing you want to do is to scan this machine. And you can see here, I have terminal running, and all I got to do is enter things like Nmap, which is our network mapping tool against the target IP address. In this case, 192.168.0.160. So you do this scan and it will tell us what are the other services that's available. So most of the time in a computer, in a machine, there are things that are running like different types of services. It can also be agents which may be open or in other times, there could be some other services to help them understand or manage backend databases, backend Active Directory, and so on and so forth, whichever the case is. And we want to uncover that so that we know that there are more services that we can target. So you can see right here, we have several ports. And in this case, we're targeting port 9200, which is for a elastic search service. There are also many others that we can target. For example, port 8080 is likely going to be another web server or web service. In this case, if we go ahead and open up the browser and we enter the additional port, in this case, 8080, hit enter on that, what do we get? Your server is now running. All right, to replace this page over at index.html, there is a administrator console and so on and so forth. So again, these are additional services that can be running, which means more potential opening points, entry points for us to gain access into the entire operating system. Now, of course, in this case, we're targeting port 9200, which is for Elasticsearch, and you can see here, we have the result status 200, name, we have the version number, and so on and so forth. And Elasticsearch is basically an analytic service. You throw data at it, and you're able to query those data. And what I'm going to do now is use Burp Suite as our interceptor to look at the different types of malicious payloads that we can send over into this specific service. So in this case, go ahead and enter Burp Suite, followed by N to run them. Go ahead and click Next on it click start burp. So we're starting up the burp suite community edition now, which is going to be our interceptor. So what can see here under the proxy tab, we have intercept is on. All you got to do is go back over into the browser, go into the top right corner and click on to enable foxy proxy burp suite. So done. I hit enter on this. We have the interception right here. You can see the following on the left, get slash HTTP one on one, send this over into repeater. And I'll be teaching you both ways. The first way is going to be the automated way where we use Metasploit to help us inject those payload. But that's not good. We are not script kitties. So the number two way is going to be a manual exploitation of the specific vulnerability. I'm going to teach you just that. So yeah, you got to watch to the end. If not, I will find you. I will track you and I will get your password and I'll find everything about you. I'll take over your whole computer and your mobile device. We want to look up for vulnerabilities specific to Elasticsearch of that version. So in this case, we have the version of 1.1.1. Go back over in the terminal, enter search exploit. Enter the following of Elasticsearch, hit enter on that. And we have several options here. And you can see right here with Elasticsearch Remote Code Execution 2014 3.1.0. So this is the one that we can use in good news. It's available directly in Metasploit. So the first way is going to be the script kitty way. And all you got to do is enter sudo MSF console, go ahead and enter your password. And you are now starting up Metasploit. And with that, all you got to do is just search for Elasticsearch, or right, in this case, and use that exploit to run it against the target site. And it's really straightforward. So now it's loading. All you gotta do is enter the following of search, elastic search, hit enter on that. There are several options here. And the option that we're going to be using in today's tutorial will be the first option, all right, which is script MVEL 
we moot code execution. All you gotta do is enter use zero, hit enter on that, and show options. And once you're ready, go in and enter set our host 12.168.0.160. So this is the target site that we're going after. Set target URI. In this case, the URI to Elasticsearch is going to be of the following. All right, so we have the target of the following right here. So everything is on default. So we don't have to set the target URI. And we are ready. We're ready to launch the attack. And all you got to do is enter exploit, hit enter on that. And you see the following. We have started the reverse TCP handler, trying to execute arbitrary Java, remote OS is Windows Server, and da da da. Done. We're in. All right. All you got to do is enter the following of shell. And then you enter, say, for example, who am I? And we have anti authority system where I can enter DIR. It's done. It's game over. It's as simple as that. Now, to be a serial hacker, we have to use some interception tool. And if I click onto send, you can see right here on the right side where the response directly from the service. Next up, you can see that I've added the following of underscore search pretty. Additionally, I also have the content type application JSON, which we'll be inserting into the body. Now here comes the juicy part. And this is the one that we're going after. You can see right here with the following of Java long runtime, get runtime, and we execute on following cmd.exe, which then uses certu2.exe to download a specific file and we drop it into a directory. So usually we drop it into a TAM directory, but I want to make this look a little more cinematic. So you have the hacker loy, and c.exe, and we're hosting a natcat.exe from Kali Linux that the target server is gonna download from and then we'll execute on that. So once you're ready, go ahead and click send. Boom, done. The file is now available inside that machine. Changing the code up a little right now, you can see the following. We're using cmd.exe, but right now, we are going to execute on through that file that we have downloaded and then heading over into Kali Linux IP address, port number, and then running cmd.exe. Now hold on a second, we have not yet started our listener on Kali Linux. Now go ahead and enter the following of NC, NLVP4444, hit enter on this, we're now listening, we're ready. Go back over into Burp Suite, and all we gotta do in three, two, one, hit send. Now go back over into terminal. What do we have here? We got shell, we're in. Who are you? Just kidding. There's no such command. Enter who am I? That's it. It's game over. We can do anything we want on a target computer. So like I said, smash the like button on this video. Turn on notification to this YouTube channel so that you can be kept abreast of all these awesome tutorials that's coming your way. Stay tuned.